Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is Lisa Jackson. Now, just wanted to um, get on and show you a few reviews that I have. Um, I'm on a camping trip and I'm going to review this amazing um, preserve and park as well. But first of all, I wanted to show you some of the things that we're using out on the campsite. So give me just a second. We'll turn around. I know you can see the blue eddy behind me. Uh, I really love this thing. I uh, know you probably, if, if, if you guys are watching and you are um, survivalist or if you're preppers, I know you've heard about the Blue Eddy. If you haven't got yours yet, you really absolutely need to. There's a link down below in my video. And uh, I actually have been sitting out here having uh, coffee this morning and um, from my little crew of coffee pot. And I've got a fan going out here and uh, it is doing just absolutely amazing so if you haven't got your blue eddy um, you should go ahead and pick that up um, while prices are still relatively low um, so i'm gonna flip around and show the camera um, stay tuned give me a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe because i'll be showing you more videos to come uh, of my little tiny house that I have as well as survival tips and prepping tips. All right, here I have my Blue Eddy. And I have, excuse me, <laughs> excuse my video here, but I've got a little Honeywell fan here that's easily portable, durable, that I've uh, taken out here. We put this in the tent, keeps us cool, it's awesome. Uh, but my Blue Eddy, you get up, and I've got my cell phone uh, charger there hooked in. The front of it has uh, ports that you can charge cell phones in. You also have your car charger there, and um, there's a, a place at the top of it that you can hook it into electricity and charge it, which is the way I charged it before I came out here. It is solar. Uh, so you can obviously charge it for the solar and I've got the panels and stuff, but I chose not to bring them on this little trip. But I've got my little um, coffee pot, my little crude coffee pot hooked into it, the back of it. Let me turn it around. Turn this around so you can see that. Excuse the quality of my video. I'll get it down here. As you can see, uh, we have two... Uh, outlet plugs and what I do at my little tiny house is I'll plug in uh, a power strip and I can plug in many different things inside here so plug that in turn the little switch on in front and voila wait a few minutes and you have some coffee so let me show you right now with this fan I don't have the coffee brewer brewing but because of the heating element it'll take a lot of watts but right now I'm uh, using 49 watts, 4952 watts out of this Honeywell fan. So uh, if you're camping in the summertime, you know it's hot. Uh, so I would definitely pick up a fan, uh, have those on hand. Um, this would probably, you know, even run a little small, um, and it actually does run a little small heater uh, if you happen to be camping in the winter time or the cooler season you can put that inside your tent so highly recommend picking up the blue eddy and pick yourself up one of these honeywell fans they are amazing they are uh, easy to store they put it i've got it on low right now and it's putting out a lot of, of force easy way to keep yourself cool so thanks for watching if you uh again like to pick up one of those there's going to be a link for the Honeywell fan as well as the Blue Eddy. Have a great day, give me a thumbs up and uh, follow me for my um, reviews of the different things that I am purchasing and what I'm doing around the homestead with my goats and um, you know, living a carefree life. Thanks.